coronavirus. Now, the war on coronavirus in Kenya seems to be getting out of control. If the clusters of transmissions being witnessed in some pockets of the country is anything to go by, a situation report by the Ministry of Health shows a disease whose chain forms faster than the National Emergency Response Committee can react to. Our in-house medical correspondent, Dr. Masi Korir, looks at two of these transmission chains in this report. On 7th April, 25 days after the first coronavirus patient was confirmed in Kenya, the Ministry of Health had not made any plans to accommodate high-risk healthcare workers separately to test and monitor them as they go about their duties of keeping us safe from the virus. And Dr. Patrick Amoth was quick to respond to these concerns. Following our meeting today with the Azeri and peers, we have identified suitable accommodation at uh, one, one of the hotels, it's Hadassah Hotel, just next to Nairobi Hospital, for the healthcare workers. And the team at the Kenya Medical Practitioners Dentist Council, chaired by Dr. Evan Jenga, are working extra hard to be able to get us extra facilities so that healthcare workers who get into contact with these cases don't go home but go to a specific place and therefore prevent cross-contamination with members of the family and the public as they move home. This delayed action or inaction by the Ministry of Health has come to bite us and dearly so. In the Ministry of Health's daily Kenya COVID-19 situation report number 47 on 3rd May 2020 is a detailed sketch of case 189, the index case in the Kawangware transmission chain. Case 189, who was symptomatic of COVID, is described as a volunteer at the Public Health Emergency Operations Center and was confirmed following the surveillance testing on healthcare workers. She had a total of 29 contacts, five of whom were infected. Her two children, cases 222 and 223, and one of her friends, case 225, who had spent a weekend at her house. Case 245, her other friend got infected and went ahead to infect three other contacts. Her daughter, case 243, and niece, case 244, all living in one house. The third contact, case 282, is her neighbor in the same flat apartment who infected two more people. Her son and daughter got the disease. The third contact, case 282, is her neighbor in the same flat apartment who infected two more people, her son and daughter. A day house help to case 189 became case 258 and went ahead to infect her husband, three-year-old twin sons, and her 21-year-old sister. In total, Kawangware's index case 189 got 14 people infected. Another significant chain is the Kilifi Mombasa transmission, whose genesis is in Kilifi County. Case 14 in Kilifi led to case 48 in Rabai, and case 141 in Mombasa, who got three others, case 187, 188, and 190 infected. Kilifi's case 14 directly infected five others. Case 40 from KPA died but had infected eight others, two of whom have died. Out of the eight, four directly transmitted the virus to 19 others. In total, Kilifi's index case led to 37 infections, and the chain continues, yet to be broken. Nairobi and Mombasa remain Kenya's key hotspots amid questionable requirements for one to pay for their own isolation and quarantine, costs which have discouraged Kenyans from coming out to get tested and identified early in order to break this chain of transmissions. Dr. Masikorir. KT News.